one thing though that did really help me I did see a lot of changes with is just increasing like my overall protein intake and I do talk a lot about that with my clients because I just noticed so many changes when they do it and also that was one of the biggest changes for me a lot of people do under eat on protein and a lot of us love carbs and fats and that's okay but protein is really such a key piece you know it's going the basically the more muscle you have the more you're able to just like burn and burn calories and in order to do that you do need protein because protein is needed for like everything in the body our hair our skin our nails but also when we're trying to like even put on muscle or uh, just feel good sometimes protein is is a key thing you know even for energy and um, just helping you like put on muscle so I think you know having like a protein source like in your breakfast your lunch and your dinner and just kind of sometimes even hunting for those things like okay like where am I gonna get my protein on my breakfast like should I have the French toast or should I have like maybe eggs and uh, maybe a piece of French toast and so like just kind of being mindful of that has really helped I think me have balanced meals and just like feel better and also like achieve those goals that I want working out as well. Mm. What are ways that people can get a good amount of protein in um, that's not meat? For seafood, I guess that's technically meat, uh, yeah. just so everyone knows, seafood is loaded with protein. So like shrimp, uh, salmon, all that is like protein, protein, protein. Um, but in terms of not seafood you could get it through just like even seeds like hemp seeds like pumpkin seeds like just sprinkling it on things like chia seeds there's protein in that um also uh chickpeas have protein in them tofu is a great alternative um i would say like finding like little ways to even just sprinkle it on your food like those seeds are one way to just really like up your protein intake and it's mm. you can really sneak it in you can put it in your shakes you can put it on like your salads um and uh they're really good for you they're really good for your brain because they also some of those that i named are high in fat but they're good fats they're really good for your overall brain function and how you feel mm -hmm.